Hello everyone, welcome to a brand new episode of Ask Farfetched. Excuse the mess behind you, excuse the mess on my face. It's been a long day, and I, I, I didn't even know I'd be recording this today. I just checked, noticed there was a lot of questions there, and thought... I haven't done this for a while, let's answer some questions. By the way, before I start, look at my shirt. It's got Banjo-Kazooie on it. I, I love this shirt. That story's not going anywhere, I just wanted to show you my shirt. I love this shirt. On with the questions. It feels good being here again, in a high definition, so you can see all of my imperfections on my face. I like it! Adam Hadel asks, Question 1. What is your favourite Ratchet & Clank game? Good question. I think I've already had that before, but either way, my favourite Ratchet & Clank game is the original. I know a lot of people like the third game, Ratchet & Clank 3. Obviously, the third game is the third and the, yeah. Ratchet & Clank 3 is like the, my second favourite, definitely. But to me, nothing just tops the original, for reasons I feel like I've said a million times. But to quickly go over it again, I like that Ratchet is just a normal, everyday guy. He's just on his own planet, fixing his ship. This is him turning a bolt, I think that's what he's doing at the beginning of the game, I don't know. You know, he's just doing what he can to save his own planet from this bad guy. He's not, he hasn't got this heavy armor, there isn't like this fleet of soldiers behind him, he's not, there's not this giant ship. I don't know, I mean, it's cool, I like that. I mean, that's kind of what Ratchet and Clank is now, and I like it, but I always prefer it being the every man. You know what I mean? I like, you know, the average Joe going up against the big, forces of evil. There's something about that, that I really like. It's inspiring. Makes me feel like I could go against the government one day. Question two, have you played Jack 2? If so, do you think it's hard? I do remember it being hard, but only because I sucked at games years ago. Um, but I'm not sure if it actually is hard, um, or if I was just bad at playing games years ago. I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I haven't played it in years, because I'm one of those people who didn't really like the mature turn that the Jack and Daxter games took. I much prefer the first game, you know, the whole cartoony Crash bandicoot feel to it. I really liked that, I really liked that. Um, Jack 2, at the time I was like, uh, guns and brooding and uh, mature and gritty. But now that I've grown up a bit and I've like, gotten into Uncharted and The Last of Us, maybe I'm at the age where I can give it a shot now. I don't know, maybe. Um, it was a little bit jarring for me at first, going from Jack 1 to Jack 2. But, I don't know, maybe I'm a bit older now, I can give it a go. That isn't the question at all. I don't know why I'm talking about me trying out Jack 2. That isn't what you are. <laughs> that scared the crap out of me. Hopefully, either my mum just came in, or I'm not getting any sleep tonight. <laughs> question 3. Who would win in a fight, Sonic or Mario? What? Uh, play Super Smash Bros. Brawl and find out for yourself. That's... I don't, I don't know. Cool guy 700 able asks, Question 1. Is this an accurate representation of what the 8th gen will be like? I'm guessing he means Pokemon and there's a link here. What is this? Oh. This was obviously made when Microsoft unveiled the Xbox One with all its problems and nobody wanted it. And, uh, so, yeah. See, this is kind of outdated now because the Xbox One kind of backpedaled on their problems. So I'd say no. That isn't accurate. I would have said yes when you originally sent that question. Uh, in November. But, um... Wait, no. In, Ju in June. You sent that question in June. Wow. This is... Hmm... I have come to these questions kinda late. Question 2. Review the Resistance series in 5 seconds. Okay, not played them. That was like less than a second, I think. Question 3. Why don't you like All For One? Because it's too different and I don't like different. I hate change! I didn't mean to actually bang the table there. I don't know, it's just me and my friend tried playing it a while ago and we just got bored after about 15 minutes. It just wasn't fun. I mean, I like Ratchet and Clank, but it was depressing. To be so bored by a Ratchet and Clank game. They're not supposed to be boring. Question four. Have you played Ratchet and Clank Full Frontal Assault Q-Force? I have. I played the demo. Didn't really like what it was going for. Yeah. Didn't really like it. Question five. How do you feel about Naughty Dog lying to Jack and Daxter fans? When did, when did Naughty Dog lie to Jack and Daxter fans? The only thing I could possibly imagine that meaning is that The Last of Us... Two. No, The Last of Us started development. No. 
they were either going to make The Last of Us or a new Jack and Daxter game. And at the last minute, they decided to make a new game. Maybe that's what you mean. I don't I don't remember Naughty Dog lying to anybody. Nah. Question six, what do you think about what do you think are the top ten worst future armor episodes? I'm not that I'm not committed to the show enough to remember the top ten worst episodes. I'd have to watch them all again. I don't know. Question seven, what are your top ten favourite future armor episodes? Um I again I don't remember. Question eight, what TV shows do you think have jumped the shark? Um, someone's talking to me on Steam. Javius, Javius, Jav... I'm trying to do a video here, man. Um, anyway, yeah, question eight. What TV shows do you think have jumped the shark? I don't know. Maybe I'd say The Office. I don't know. I, I have no idea. I'm sure there is one. Um, The Walking Dead, maybe? I don't, I don't know. The Walking Dead. Daryl Dixon. Daryl Dixon jumped the shark with The Walking Dead because I've always wanted to make a video discussing this. But I feel like Daryl Dixon in The Walking Dead goes against everything The Walking Dead is supposed to be. He ruins the show for me. And yeah, the thing is, he's an awesome character. But he's not supposed to be awesome. The Walking Dead, the whole point of The Walking Dead is supposed to be a realistic take on the zombie apocalypse. So having this one guy, he was like, yeah, I'm invincible. I throw a grenade at a tank and the tank explodes. I'm never going to die because I'm cool. That isn't what The Walking Dead's supposed to be about. That... Uh, why does he exist? Anyway, Moguera, Moguera123 asks, Good morning, or afternoon, or evening. It is um, quarter to eight in the evening, so evening for me. Here's a couple of questions. Would you kindly answer them? No. Right, next question. Okay, obviously I'm going to answer them. Question one. What kind of music do you like to hear? Um, I wouldn't really put myself down to one genre, but I've noticed a lot of music that I like is from the 50s and 60s. Like, I noticed that um, on my iPod, some of the songs I listen to the most are like Frank Sinatra, Blue Moon, Chuck Berry, Johnny B. Good. Um, I listen to a lot of Queen. Queen's one of my favourite um, artists. I've only just started noticing how awesome Starbomb is. I don't know why it took me so long, but yeah, Starbomb. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the humour. I don't know if anyone's noticed, but I don't like dirty humour. Whenever someone's, like, talking dirty humour around me, I'm like, eh, how many brain cells did it take to think of that one? Most teenage boys laugh at dirty humour. But ladies and gentlemen, I'm not like most teenage boys. Question two, favourite of food? Um, I'm, uh, I'm gonna say kebab. And that's like the most cliche, overweight kid thing to say. I keep saying kid. I'm not a kid anymore. I don't want to grow up. Anyway, that was a weird little moment I had there to myself. I'm going to say kebab because um, while I'm eating it, I like eating it. But about five seconds after I start eating it, I start feeling guilty because I know I shouldn't be eating it. Because I should be losing weight. And there I am eating like the worst possible thing I could be eating. But it's so good! Question three. Have you ever played SSX 2012 or any of the others in the franchise? Um, by the time you're actually watching this video, you should know the answer to that. Um, if you see my PS2 video collection, video, video collection... Um, I've got SSX Tricky and SSX Free, as well as SSX 2012. They're all good games. I really like SSX. It's really awesome. One of the only sports games franchises that you'll see me actually get excited about playing. Question 4. Is there any old game you would like to see rebooted? Um, good question. I'm gonna say Gregory Horror Show, only because... I don't know why, because I just love it. What else do you need? I really feel like Gregory Horror Show came out at the wrong time. That should come out again on their 3DS or something. Attract a new audience and it'll do good, I think. I don't know. It's one of those games that needs a second chance, I think. Which is the hardest game you have ever played? Um, I'm going to go with the obvious, probably Dark Souls or Demon Souls, because... I mean, they're made to be difficult, and they do their job pretty well. Question six, which is the craziest thing you have ever done? Um, what's the craziest thing I've ever done? That's a good question. Um, I don't really do a lot of crazy things. I'm like Bilbo in the first half hour of The Hobbit, except that's my whole life. You know, I'm like, I don't like adventures. I don't want to go on an adventure. So I don't really get into a lot of crazy scrapes. Um, what's the craziest thing I've ever done? Um, I don't know. I don't 
do crazy things. I'm sorry. You keep up with the great videos and reviews. You're easily the funni funniest guy I've seen on YouTube. Thank you, Moguera123. That means a lot. Ha, the cat went wolf, a regular on this series. Uh, wait, this is a link. Watch this, please. You answered my question and asked Farfetch'd and you said you would like to see the Avengers be in a game. Uh, okay, what is this? Oh, it's Lego Marvel. I've already reviewed that game. That's how late I'm getting to these questions. The Ultimate Pie Master asks, Question 1. Will you ever try Team Fortress 2 again? Maybe one day, I suppose. I mean, it is good. Uh, I'm not sure if it's the kind of game for me, but I suppose one day I might give it a go. Who knows? Question 2. Could we play some Minecraft or TF2 if you want to try it again together? Maybe one day. At the moment, I'm kind of swamped. I've been kind of stressed out because I've got a million things to do and not enough time for any of them. So I don't really have time to play games other than games that I want to review at the moment. So maybe one day when I'm a bit more free, we'll play some games. Maybe. But I'm also cripplingly socially awkward. So I also don't know if I would actually want to talk to you guys face to face. Not because you're not awesome, but because I might collapse from being shy. I'm really shy. Question three, do you like pie? I'm kind of I'm kind of neutral about it. I don't really feel that strongly about it one way or the other. I mean, it's all right. I don't I want to put pie on a pedestal, but um, it's not bad, I suppose. I'd, I'd eat it. Uh, yeah. Thumbs up for pie. Sensical Guy asks, question one, do you have a PlayStation Vita? No, but I am hoping that will change at some point this year. Question two, why did I just get straight to the question? Yeah, you probably don't have to answer that. Wait, why? Uh, okay, I won't. Question three, are you a fan of Little Big Planet? Yes. Question four, are you a fan of the Persona series? I don't know why I read that really weird, but yeah, I am a fan of the Persona series. I'm still kind of getting into the series a little bit. I only have Persona 4, but um, I think Persona 5 is coming out this year, and I'm hoping to get that. Maybe review it. It's too early to tell if I'll have the time, but hopefully if everything goes well, I will be reviewing Persona 5. I should not promise things like that, but I'm going to anyway. Question 5. Are you planning on doing another fan-made Did You Know Gaming video? Um, maybe. I don't want to say no. I mean, if I do want to make another one just because I feel like I could have done a lot better with my... I, I, I could have done a lot better than my Bioshock video. Like, I talked really poorly. Like, I didn't talk very clearly at all. Not like... Not like I'm talking here. I talked really stupidly and not clearly. And if I were to do a video like that today, it would be a lot more clear and good and awesome. So, I don't know, maybe. Um, I don't know. Every time I got an idea to do one, like, like Fallout, someone else did it. So, I don't know. The only one I'd want to do one is um, Batman. Like, the Batman Arkham series. But they don't really have any cool trivia. So... I would have done a Batman Digine Gaming video a while ago if those games had good trivia, but they don't, so yeah. And finally, what do you use to record? Let me go get it. I use this, a HD PVR2. Very handy little thing, I have to say. It's kind of expensive, but you know, um, this kind of hobby is a bit expensive if you want to make quality videos. And when I say quality, I literally mean high quality. I'm sure you could do a good review without... A, a HD PVR or a good computer. I literally mean, you know, HD 1080p quality. That's, you know, you know what I mean. So Fax says, asks, question one, do you think you'll be picking up X or Y anytime soon? If so, what starter will you most likely pick? Um, no. Um, you probably already have the answer to that, seeing as I haven't got it yet. Um, I don't know. A lot of my friends have it. A lot of my college friends have it, and it's made me think... Maybe I should pick it up, um, because I'm kind of running out of things to play on the 3DS, so maybe I will pick it up. I don't know. It's too early to tell. I don't know why it's too early to tell, because I could pick it up tomorrow if I wanted, but um, maybe. I don't know. Maybe one day. Question two. What games are you most looking forward to in 2014? Um, South Park, The Stick of Truth, Alien Isolation. I wanted to make my fingers crack there, but it won't happen. I've kind of forgot some of the games that are coming out this year. A lot of them don't have release dates, so I don't know if most of them actually are going to be coming out this year. 
maybe Watch Dogs? Um, but for all I know, that could get delayed again. You don't know. Androld94 asks, What is the name of the song you used in your old intro, and where did you find it? Um, in brackets, the one you used in your Lollipop Chainsaw review. Um, I forget what that song was called. You mean the you mean the do 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 Yeah, I stopped using that because it was really loud and obnoxious and it was kind of used for a meme at the time. I didn't want my reviews to be associated with a meme, so I kinda stopped using it. I don't know why I ever used it to be honest. Um what is it called? Okay, here it is. It's a song called Let Me Hit It by Sporty O. Sporty Dash O. So Go look it up to your heart's content. Also, love the vids, man. Keep up the good work. Thank you. You keep up the good work, Androld94. Mad Hatter asks, Hi Farfetched, could you do collaboration with me on your thoughts of Batman Arkham City if you do tell me? Honestly, I don't even have time for my own videos at the moment. I don't even have time to work on the reviews for games that I've already bought. So it probably wouldn't be a good idea to start collaborating with more people and working on more videos. Sorry, I'm just a busy guy like that. The Average Max asks, question one, what is your least favorite console? Uh, good question. I would probably say, uh, Virtual Boy, I don't know. Um, every console I've got, I like playing on. Um, uh, maybe I should look at this from an angle of what is your least favorite so not bad, just out of all the consoles, which is the lead, what would be on the bottom of the list of your favourite consoles. So not bad, uh, maybe PS1, I would say, only because I just don't have enough games in my library, li library, that's what I almost said there, and I did say it, I just said library. I just don't have enough games in my library to, you know, to warrant plugging it in and playing it. You know, I wish I had games like um, Final Fantasy VII, Chrono Trigger, Chrono Cross, but I don't have any of those games, and once I get them, the PS1 will maybe rank higher on my list, but as for now, I don't really ever play it. I'm not really interested in playing my PS1 anymore. It served me well when I was little, but now I've moved on to bigger and better things. Sorry, PS1, if you're watching this. Question two, do you prefer Bioshock or Bioshock Infinite? In my Bioshock Infinite review, I did say Bioshock Infinite is one of my favorite games of all time. Is that true now? No, it's not true. Bioshock 1, one of my favorite games of all time. Um, it just can't be topped for me. Um, as much as I thought Bioshock Infinite could top it at the time, it just can't. I'm sorry, Ken Levine. Question three, what is your favorite indie game? I might have to go with Fez on that one. Um, because I just really like Fez. Um, I get all my best ideas for videos and other projects while playing Fez because it's so relaxing and it's one of the, I just like, you know, doing I like being able to think while doing things. And that sounds really dumb. Like I like being able to think, you know, everyone can think. I like being able to, you know, switch myself off. I like to play a game that doesn't require like much in-depth for. I could just play it while thinking about things and I let my mind think while playing the game. I'm not like on the edge of my seat like I am with, you know, with Donkey Kong Country. I have to keep concentrating on that. You know what I mean? I don't need to explain myself. Question four. Would you rather have breakfast with Troy Baker or Ken Levine? That is a fantastic question. Oh my god. Would I rather have breakfast with Ken Levine or Troy Baker? Um... I, that's such a bizarre, but great question. I can't believe no one's asked me that kind of question until now. I don't know. I honestly don't know. Um, I would say Troy Baker because Ken Levine, he seems like he's on a completely other wavelength. I wouldn't even know what to ask him. I'd, I'd feel dumb talking to him. But Troy Baker, he just seems like a cool, down-to-earth guy, you know. You know what I mean? He just seems cool, and I'd like to talk to him. I'd like to hear him do his voices, unless that would annoy him, because I bet a lot of people ask him to do the Joker voice and stuff. So I probably won't ask him to do that. I'd probably just say, Troy Baker, you're cool. Um, I'm hoping one day I get so popular to the point where Troy Baker can cameo in one of my videos. That would be out of this world, and that would never happen. I'm just... 
grasping at straws, that's not the right phrase, you know what I mean. The average Max again, he's asking more questions, except this is two months later. Okay, we're actually into questions that were asked in 2014 now. So these are actually current questions. Good, we finally caught up. Question one, favourite Vigor slash Plasmid from a Bioshock game? Um, I might have to say, uh... Hmm. Maybe electricity, probably just because it's really effective. Um, maybe telekinesis. Maybe uh, maybe booking Bronco. I don't know. Take your pick out of any of the ones that I just said. Question two: physical game copy or digital download? Physical. Every time. Question three: Have you been keeping up with the Bioshock Infinite Barry Let's See DLC? And if so, what are your thoughts? I actually haven't been keeping up with Barry Let's See whatsoever. I'm gonna wait for episode two to come out, then I'm gonna buy them both at the same time, play through them, and maybe review them. I don't want to make any promises, but I might just review it one day. Question four: What video game characters annoyed you the most? This is actually an idea I had for a top ten a while ago. Um, top ten annoying characters in gaming. I really wanted to do that a while ago. I might have to go with Chip from Sonic Unleashed, just because he, he added nothing to the game and until later in the game, but his obsession with chocolate and just being like, I don't know who I am. Oh, Sonic, Ooh, you're a hedgehog. Die. Die, Chip. <laughs> this is getting too personal. Question five. Are you a duke or a dimwit? Well... Um, let me remember. I clean my father's gun every Saturday, so that makes me a duke. I think that was one of the things in Bioshock Infinite. Like, Duke washes his father- Duke polishes his father's gun. But Dimwit, he steals it and shoots cats and returns it without cleaning it. What a Dimwit. I don't remember. It's been a while. It's not been that long since I played Bioshock Infinite. Question six. If you could go on vacation to one place, where would it be? Um, probably New York, because I've always wanted to go to New York. Um, it just seems like the place to be, yo. Question seven, favorite underrated YouTuber? I would say, but he's actually planning on being a second opinion in one of my upcoming reviews. Um, actually, um, because video games is going to be, hopefully, a second opinion in one of my upcoming reviews. But I wasn't talking about him, but I suppose you can... Him as well, because video games and a certain other mystery person that you'll find out in a future review. All he's done so far is an Outlast review, and it's awesome, and I messaged him saying, Hey, be in one of my reviews, and he is like, okay, but it hasn't happened yet. So there's a clue. Based on that, go look for someone who's only made an Outlast review, and it might just be him. Question A, if you could collaborate with any YouTuber with less subscribers than you, who would it be? Again... Mystery YouTuber coming up in a future review. You'll find out then. Question 9. What are you planning on doing when you move out on your own? And are you planning on uploading on far-fetched reviews while living on your own? Uh, yeah, I'd still do reviews even if I lived on my own. That wouldn't really alter my channel in any way. And uh, what am I planning on doing when I move out? Surviving. Um, paying bills. Hopefully still playing games. And feeding my um, recently growing addiction to Imperial Mints. I don't know where it's came from, but in the last couple of weeks, I've just gotten so addicted to these things. I love them. So if you're a fan of far fetch Reviews, send um, some Imperial Mints to my address below. I'm not really putting my address below, but these are really nice either way. Oh. Declan Proud, hey, he's a friend of mine. He asks, hello, you dreadful monster. Well, I'm not answering your questions now. Anyway, also, really, you can really keep pilot wings. Honestly, I don't even have an N64 to play it on. Well, that's really nice of you, but um, you didn't ask a question. So, you're in my bad books for today. And finally, the Craft Mine asks, question one. Do you know which country invented the cheese peeler? You know, I have to say, I did not expect that question to come up. I'm guessing you mean the cheese grater. And I'm going to guess since you're from Norway, because I spoke to you personally on Steam, I'm going to guess Norway. Let's find out. Cheese grater. Now I don't know where the cheese peeler originated from. What? Why would I? Why would I? How do you know that? Question two, your top five games of all time. You don't need to be accurate. One game per franchise. 
This is always a tough question, but I will do my best. I couldn't decide which games I liked the best, even though you told me I didn't need to be accurate. I still felt like I needed to be accurate to some degree. The only games I've got here are um, Batman Arkham Asylum, quite predictably, um, Shadow of the Colossus, um, because I absolutely love this game, and also, oh, this isn't even the right game. Pretend this is the Wind Waker HD. Sorry for the blue glow on this video. My computer screens are right there. Um, in the next video, I might face the camera over the, I don't know. Question three, why does the giraffe have such a long neck? Well, it's a good job you ask that because I actually know the answer to this. Because the Lamarckian theory on evolution dictates that over the course of history, giraffes have tried to reach for leaves in the trees. So because of that, evolution has given them slightly longer necks to accommodate for their trying to grasp for the leaves. So... That is the Lamarckian theory on evolution. I think he, I, I'm not sure if he's on the same team as Darwin or if he's like, if he disagrees with Darwin, Darwin, but um, I forget his first name. It's something Lamarck, but uh, yeah. He probably intended that to be a stupid question, but I actually had a good answer for it. Question five, am I mad when I say that Assassin's Creed 2 is overrated? Well, if you are mad, you're going to have to throw me in the same prison cell with you, because I agree. I don't see the appeal of Assassin's Creed. I thought Assassin's Creed 2 was riddled with problems. Um, I didn't see it as a masterpiece like uh, like the PlayStation magazine seems to think it is. In this book, it's somewhere around here. They've got like a whole page dedicated to calling Assassin's Creed 2 a masterpiece. Where is it? Somewhere around here. Assassin's Creed 2, one of the games of the generation, where really it defined the... Uh, Assassin's Creed Revelations is there as well. I, I guess I'm missing some of Assassin's Creed. I don't know. I guess I missed the boat on that one. Question 6, what game character would you have a bang with? <laughs> I, I, I wasn't... Why? I don't. What do you even want me to say? Does that mean something different in Norway? Uh, have a bang. That, I'm not even going to answer that question because I don't know. I don't know what game character I would, as you so well put it, have a bang with. I don't know. And finally, question seven. When is your birthday? I like that you go from what game character would you have a bang with to... When is your birthday? My date of birth is August the 21st, 1995. I will be 19 this year, um, which makes me feel like an adult. But I'm not an adult on the inside, not until I'm 21. And then when I get to 21, I'll say, not until I'm 30, because that's when I'll start balding. Maybe, hopefully, well, hopefully not. And that brings this episode of Ask For Fetched to a close. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do another one of these episodes. It depends on if I get any more questions. Um, so, yeah. Hopefully use this video as a sign that you should start ans ask sending in more questions. So yeah, end of the video. See you next time, everyone. Goodbye!